hi everyone in this tutorial uh, we will do some uh, complicated work and uh, the thing which we will do is to remove these three lines okay which is the hamburger of streamlet okay and uh, we will also remove this madrid streamlet as well okay and for this purpose i will use this uh, st markdown okay and uh, we will play with the css of uh, this streamlit web app okay so first of all uh, let me show you how you can uh, close the uh, server okay so if i click on the terminal you just need to uh, hold control or the command key on mac okay and then you just need to hit c okay and this will stop your server and if i refresh it everything is gone okay and this is how you can close and if you want to again run it just type streamlet run man.py hit enter and this will run your web app on your local host okay and yeah this is my app and now uh, let's uh, talk about the actual work of this video and the, the first of all uh, i will remove my this hamburger of streamlet okay and in order to remove it just maximize the screen okay and just right click on it and go to inspect element okay and inside this inspect element uh, we have here a button okay and uh, inside the button we have this css class and this pen is also responsible for this uh, button as well so i will remove my this uh, button using this pen okay and how i can access this pen okay so we have an id here and uh, okay so okay so here inside this pen we have a button and this button has a specific class okay so with the help of this class i will remove my this hamburger okay so just copy this class name copy it okay and open your vs code here and now here or oh, i think i will write this line on the top okay here i will write uh, st dot markdown okay so as i have mentioned you that the markdown basically allow us to uh, uh play with the html and css uh, in streamlet and that's why i'm using here this markdown function okay so sd dot markdown okay and then uh, i will put uh, these uh, six double quotes okay so we have here three and i will i need to write here another double quote as well okay so everything will work fine so here we have three and here we have three okay so make sure that you should uh, type uh, six double quotes okay and then in in the mid of these double quotes uh, i will write my css and html so first of all the first tag that i will write here is the style tag because uh, i will change the styling of my this web app okay so i will open my style tag of html right here sty any style okay and then i will close my style tag as well okay so just close the style sorry Plus STYL style tag okay so now we have a style tag and now inside the style tag i will access my this button using this class okay so i will write here dot and then the class name so i hope that uh, sorry uh, just to copy the class name control c copy it and uh, paste it here and i hope that you know very well about the classes so we can access a class using this dot operator and you can access an id using the number sign or the hash sign okay and as you can see we have a space here so in order to uh, omit any type of error we should uh, remove this space and instead of the space we will again put a dot here okay so now we have two separate classes and uh, i will actually hide the visibility of my this button so i will open these parentheses down and i will say v i s i b i l i t y visibility to i think uh, hidden okay h i w d and hidden okay and then this uh a semicolon okay and if i save it and if i cross it and if i rerun it you will see that we will uh, no longer have this hamburger okay okay so we still have this hamburger and uh, the reason is that we are getting this type of uh, output here on the top and uh, in order to avoid this error we need to write here use uh, not use uh, unsafe okay unsafe uh, 
uh, allow HTML and this is by default to false as you can see here false and I will make it true tru true okay and now if I save it and if I rerun it uh, you will see here no hamburger and yeah this is how you can remove a hamburger so awesome you have removed the streamlit hamburger and now we will do the same process for our uh, this uh, footer as well okay so let's uh, right click inspect element and we need to find a unique class here as well inside the footer okay so the footer has this css this class okay so just uh, copy this class name copy it and again here inside the style uh, i will write a dot then the class name and replace the white space with dot again and then i will open these parentheses and i will say v i s i b i L I T Y visibility and then H I W D E N hidden. Okay, so it's cool. And let's save it. Let's close it. And yeah, we have no longer have any type of footer here. So this is how you can remove the hamburger and then this footer which is made with stream using simple CSS classes and markdown function of streamlet so i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial uh, it's a very short tutorial but a very very important tutorial and this also allow us to see the power of this markdown function and i will see you in the next tutorial till that point bye bye